7 modern life habits that are bad for your brain's health. Welcome to Getting Better Daily. In an era of better technology, we are all being rewired to do more to the detriment of our brains. According to experts, our modern lifestyle is chipping away at neutral pathways and making us slower, denser, and less capable of original thoughts. Hyperconnectivity is increasingly taking its toll on our brains. In the end, we end up less productive and ineffective. In this video, we will look at lifestyle habits that influence your cognitive health and what you can do about them. When it comes to our health, we don't always think about nurturing our brains the way we nourish our bodies. To be our most productive self, we need to do more of what improves our brain's health and less of what causes cognitive decline. You can start by adjusting your daily habits and avoiding these common modern habits. Number 1. Inactivity Physical inactivity has its price tag. It's linked to the development of chronic health problems like heart disease, obesity, depression, dementia, and cancer. Many people are too busy to make time for basic movement activities that can slow down cognitive decline. Regular physical activity can benefit you cognitively, increase brain chemicals, which promote better memory and learning. The knowledge of benefit of exercise is not a problem in the modern world. It's the application of relevant information that is. Number 2. Multitasking Our smartphones have become Swiss army knives. We use them all the time. We text while we walk across the street, catch up on email while commuting, read or listen to podcasts while standing in a queue. You have likely heard that multitasking is bad for your productivity. It turns out it's a habit that also rewires the brain and makes you less effective. One of the world experts on divided attention says that our brains are not wired to multitask well. When people think they are multitasking, they are actually just switching from one task to another task very rapidly. And every time they do, there is a cognitive cost in doing so. Multitasking also increases the stress hormone cortisol as well as the flight or fight hormones adrenaline which can overstimulate your brain and cause mental fog or scrambled thinking. Number 3. Information Overload The sheer volume of emails, social updates and notifications we receive can be overwhelming. It takes a huge bite out of the day for many people. The constant stream of content, if not managed, can cause stress and lead to decision overload. Information overload is one of the biggest irritations in modern life. Some people proudly boast of how many things they can juggle in a single day. To maximize your brain every day, use better tools and settings to filter information throughout the day. Be proactive about how you consume media. Prepare your brain to ignore unnecessary information. When you organize your day with these principles in mind, you will likely increase your brain efficiency significantly. Number 4. Sitting for too long Sitting is one of the worst things we can do for our health. Sitting isn't just a physical health risk, it's a neurological risk as well. It's possible that sedentary behavior is a more significant predictor of brain structure, specifically thickness, and that physical activity, even at higher levels, is not sufficient to upset the harmful effect of sitting for extended period of time. You can reduce the amount of sitting you do by adopting interventions like moderate walking, standing while you're walking, even if just for 10 minutes at a time. It offers the opportunity to sit less and move more and conduct shorter meetings. Number 5. Too much screen time Today, face-to-face -to -face interactions are increasingly being replaced by digital tools. People spend more time online than ever before. Anything with screen, that's a television, phone, tablet, computer, video games, constitutes screen time. If the majority of our working hours entails looking at the screen, then we know it's way too much. A face-to-face -face conversation is incredibly beneficial for your brain. A study by the University of Michigan found that even 10 minutes per day of conversation with another person improves memory and cognition. The lack of true personal interaction limits the brain's opportunity to make better connections. It can also lead to loneliness and depression, mental conditions that contribute significantly to reduce brain health. Looking at screens all day can hurt your eyes, neck, ears, shoulder, back, wrist, and forearm. It also interferes with getting a good night's sleep. According to experts, excessive screen time has a negative effect on intellectual ability as well as emotional well-being. Set clear boundaries with screen to avoid developing detrimental habits. The goal isn't to avoid screen time entirely, 
as that's not realistic in modern life. However, if you're going to use a device, be mindful. Number six, loud music. People by nature love to switch up the volume. It makes the music sound more fun and immersive. In the age of noise cancellation earbuds and headphones, you can easily damage your hearing. When the rest of the world gets too distracting, it's tempting to pop in your earbuds, crank up your favorite tune, and close yourself off to focus better. If you consistently blast your music too loudly, you can damage your hearing, but it's not just your ears. Hearing loss in older adults is linked to brain problems. When your brain has to work so hard to understand what's being said around you, you can't store what you have had into memory. So protect your hearing by adjusting the volume of your headphones. It's an excellent way to preserve your hearing and allow your brain work better. One of the things we recommend is to remove your headphones, keeping them at your preferred volume and hold them out in front of you at arm's length. Can you hear the music clearly? If so, try turning it down and repeating again. Always aim to take regular breaks during the course of the day to give your ear a much needed rest. Number 7. Sleeping poorly Insufficient sleep is a huge problem for many busy professionals. Sleep deprivation can have serious short-term and long-term consequences. It can delay reaction times, glucose levels, mood, headache, impaired memory, and hormone imbalances. Recent research shows that not getting enough sleep may actually shrink your brain. Sleep is absolutely necessary for your brain. When you deprive your brain healthy sleep, how it processes information, consolidates memory, makes connection, and clear out toxins suffers. Lack of sleep slows down your thinking, impairs your memory, concentration, judgment, decision making, and impairs learning. Improving your sleep habits could be an important way to improve your brain health. 78 hours night of good sleep is essential for stimulating new connections and brain growth. If you are concerned about the health of your brain and the quality of your thinking, now or in the future, let's take care of your brain. A few simple changes to your lifestyle could boost your memory, learning, mental resilience, and overall health of your brain. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification to get notified anytime we drop a new video. Keep getting better daily and have a nice day.